Hey everybody, here we are back again with the Trash AM2 system. I recently uploaded a video of it not playing so nice with Linux Mint XFCE. The biggest issue was the network adapter was not playing nice. Um, it wouldn't establish a network connection even though the onboard LAN in this machine works fine with Windows 11 and Windows 10 and other versions of Windows. So what I did is I just scavenged through all my old expansion cards and found some random Intel PCI fast ethernet NIC card probably from 2000 I question whether there will be a driver for this built in or not I do have some other cards I could dick for and find if necessary but let's go ahead and start this up and give it a shot so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the integrated LAN okay this PS2 the USB adapter likes to not play nice sometimes with buyer setup utilities alright so let's let this thing start up into Linux Mint. See what it does. All right, we're almost there no network connection we'll give it a sec yeah there's a chance that uh, that LAN adapter could simply just be too old yeah no network devices available it says well yeah let's go ahead and find ourselves a different card. Okay, I found this Realtek RTL 8139D. Old US Robotics card. So we'll drop that in there and see what we get. Let's see if it shuts down on its own this time okay so it did turn itself off this time I like the last time where it just like hung up and uh... there's our nick card right there we'll just pull this cable out I didn't even screw it in. I just I knew I wouldn't keep it in there for long. Ain't nothing like pulling a PCI card out with one hand. The things I do for you guys. All right, let's pop this one in there. Even harder. Installing one with one hand. Okay, and then pop our cable back on there. Like I said, I'm not even gonna put a screw on this. Which, by the way, uh, that's the motherboard that's in this machine. It's an OEM Foxconn board for e-machines. It's not original to this chassis. I should mention it's uh, it was pulled out of a 2008. Her 2007 e-machine system, which had the newer E. Cooper style case, not the uh, not the mid 2000s next gen. So, let's see what we get now.
I don't see that PCI error this time on the on that uh, text, so maybe that's a good sign. So while that's starting up, well, it's almost done. There's your look at this Intel LAN card. It is quite up there in age. You can probably make out what's there. Still no network connection. Oh. Just locked up. Is it crashing? What the heck is going on here? Say what guys, the Trash AM2 system is just not liking Linux Mint. Yeah. Froze up. I think that's probably about the equivalent of a blue screen of death on Linux. Maybe. <laughs> and of course this e-machine case lacks the uh, reset switch, so I'm going to invoke a reset myself with a screwdriver. So let's start up again. Got those ACPI errors up there. I mean, could it be these cards are simply too old for Linux to uh, support? I don't know. I mean, this is a 64-bit copy of Linux Mint, so... I do know that Windows, for example, uh, tends to have driver compatibility issues with some of these older um, LAN cards. Ha! Huh. Still nothing. The card is getting power because we do have indicator lights on it. And if I disconnect the Ethernet cable, the light goes out. If I plug the Ethernet cable in, it comes back on. Okay, so I had to uh, use Rufus to re-image this flash drive with the Linux Mint installer. So I'll go ahead and insert it. And let's see if there's any additional drivers on the installation media. Uh, I did. <laughs> well, that's the deal. Okay, so I decided to just go ahead and boot this thing off of the installer. So, you can see here, it is um, showing error message saying failed to apply network settings. And there is the exception error. So yeah, I'm just going to come to the conclusion, at least for now, that the Trash AM2 system is going to be the Trash AM2 system. It's not going to play nice with Linux Mint. So. I think what I'm going to do in a future video is I'm going to pull the hard drive out of the Trash AM2 system and pop it into the Internet Explorer PC and see if the Internet Explorer PC will run it. The thing is, uh, of course, the IE PC, the motherboard that's in it, um, is too dumb to know how to boot off of a USB flash drive. So that's why I didn't install it on that one. I resorted to the uh, Trash AM2 system. So. Yeah, we'll definitely give that a shot and see what happens. Or I could try some other network adapters. I mean, I've tried, of course, that Intel adapter, and um, 
that Realtek adapter, which is a fast Ethernet LAN. I might have a gigabit LAN card in there somewhere. I'm going to have to hunt and see, but I'm thinking it could be driver issues considering these are older LAN cards and they probably, and now I know a Windows 64-bit support is kind of a, is kind of hit or miss. Not sure about Linux, though. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed it for what's worth. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following Q Computer Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.